R programming, box plot and scatter plot. Box plot is a graphical analysis uh, for a quantitative data. Okay, you can plot box plot individually or by group. Okay, so if you want to plot uh, the box plot individually, okay, you can use this code. Okay, box plot. So let's say I want to plot the empty car, uh, the mile per gallon, okay, from the empty cars data. So I can type here empty cars, okay. So the variable that I want to plot here is the mile per gallon, okay. You can refer to page 53, okay. Um, and then you can give the title as mileage data ok and then you can give the x axis label ok as so uh, y axis ok as miles per gallon because this is for a single variable box plot okay run okay so this is the block uh, box plot okay this is for the overall data okay if you want to construct and okay, get the box plot according to the uh, category for example here let's say you want to construct the box plot according to the cylinder okay so how to do that okay you can type here box plot okay so let's say the variable is the mpg the mile per gallon okay and then you want to uh, construct according to the group of cylinder okay so you can type data is from the empty cars Okay, so you can have the uh, title here and then the y axis. Okay, so for the y axis, okay, let's say is the number of cylinder. Sorry, the x axis. Okay, and then run. Okay, so this is the box plot according to the uh, number of cylinders. Okay, you can also change colors. Okay, so let's say you want to change colors. Okay, so let's say the first one is red. Okay, um, orange. Okay, and then pink for example. Okay, so you can change colors. Okay, of your box plot. Okay, and then if you want to select, uh, if you want to plot only for a specific uh, category okay for example you want to select only for a cylinder 4 okay so you must select first let's say define x as a, a data So which cylinder is equal to four comma sorry, 
Taurus. Okay. So if I click X here, if I run X here, so you can see that only okay, variable of cylinder 4 are selected. Okay. So you can plot the box plot is only for X. Okay, which is the MPT. Okay, so this is for the cylinder 4 only. Okay, the next plot is a scatter plot. Scatter plot also uh, graphical analysis for a quantitative data. Okay, so to plot a simple scatter plot. Okay, so we just use plot function. Okay, so let's say I want to construct a scatter plot, uh, the mile per gallon versus weight. Okay, so you can turn to page uh, 53 too. Okay, so you can type here plot. Okay, so let's say I want to plot the mile per gallon, uh, mile per gallon versus weight. So WT. Okay, so it and then the MPG. Okay, so this is a weight will be the x axis. Okay, MPG is the y axis. Okay, from the data of empty cars. So you can have uh, give the name of the scatter plot. Okay. Or relationship. Between we. Okay. So let's say saya nak letak untuk line yang bawah. And miles per gallon. Okay, and then y axis, y lab. Okay, equal to mass per gallon. Okay, and then PCH. Okay, equal to 19. Okay. PCH is the type of dot. Okay, that we use uh, to plot the scatter plot. Okay. And then run. Okay. So, this is the scatter plot. If you click zoom here, okay, it become more na it become nicer. Okay. So, this is a negative relationship. Okay. So, if you want to change, okay, the dot. Okay, you can uh, change in PCH here. Okay, 17 for example. Run. Okay, it become a, a triangle. Okay, 15. Okay, it is square. Okay, so you can change the type of the dot here using the PCH. Okay, and then if you want to plot uh the straight line here okay or the regression line here okay we use the a b line function okay so you can type here a b line okay use the lm lm represent the linear model okay lm which will be used later on okay, in the regression analysis okay wp the weight is uh MPG versus the weight. Okay. Which is data is from the empty cars. Okay. And then you can decide the color of the uh, line. Okay. As red. Okay. So that you can see clearly the straight line. Okay. And then the thickness. Okay. Of the line. 
help them to lean okay which is equal to 2 okay so this is the scatter plot okay weight versus the miles per oh, sorry miles per gallon versus weight okay you can also produce okay um uh, scatter plot matrices okay so let's say you have a few variables okay so you can use pairs okay so pairs so it provide you a scatter plot in a matrices okay so let's say the variable that you want to plot is the mpg okay plus Okay, the ISP display if I'm not mistaken. Okay, drag. Okay, and then weight WT. Okay, so data is from the empty cars. Okay, you can give a title. Okay, simple. Get the plot. Okay, then run. So this is a scatter plot. Okay, in a matrix form. Okay, so it will provide you the relationship. This one okay, for MPG versus the D, uh, the uh, the DISP. This is the MPG versus the drug. This is the MPG versus weight. Okay. So this part, if you want to determine the multicollinearity uh, visually, so you can use a simple scatter plot matrix. Okay. And then if you want to come up with a 3D scatter plot. So let's say we attach okay, the empty cars data first. Okay, and then use a scatter plot 3D. Okay, I think we have to load the package first. get the plot 3d install okay and then call the library of uh, from the library okay get the plot okay so type get the plot 3d okay let's say we want to we okay, the ISP and the MPG. This is 3D, so you can plot three variable okay at the same time. Okay, and then run. Okay. So we have a 3D scatter plot okay, which display three variable at the same time. Okay, and then if you want to have okay more plots in one uh in one frame, okay you can type here bar okay and flow okay equal to C. Let's say I want to have two times two. Okay, so let's say I plot here one. Okay, the box plot. Okay, we appear here. Another box plot. Okay, and then this one run. Okay, so this is how to add or uh, how to make a five. Oh, uh, sorry, four uh, graph in one frame. Thank you for watching.